welcome. Oh, thank you. Hello, Joe. Dory. So how was your trip? Fantastic. Zane's camp show was awesome. Yeah, my nephew had the best song in the show. How was the premiere? There was no premiere, Kelly. Oh, no. What happened? Did you have to cancel? Oh, no. Oh, no. There was a viewing. There was a viewing, all right. Echo de Savoy walks. I thought you had her dead to rights. How could they let her go? Hmm. I decided, we decided, to take the high road with Echo. Okay, the woman kidnapped you. You said she would have killed you if Sam hadn't found you. I perhaps um, overstated. You two don't know us very well, do you? We accentuate the positive. Mm -hmm. Doreen and I selflessly funneled that energy into our film, into my career. And I was too focused on our premiere to, to give Echo any thought. But now... But now, you two get to be the first people to see the premiere for the very first time. So, Joey, uh -huh. Kelly, have a seat. No pun intended. You get to be the first ones to see my movie. Uh, you, know, you know, we're really sorry, but we have to get over to my father's arraignment. We actually just came by to drop off the luggage, so I will see you guys later. We'll be here. All right, bye. Why wouldn't they want to see my movie? It's about me. Do you believe that lame story about Clint's arraignment? Hmm. We are just going to have to be okay with the fact that Clint is indeed going to go to prison, even if Echo is going to walk, but don't. Tell ya, I hate the fact that that biatch is getting away with anything. Well, it's a lot better than you having to go back to the slammer. Hey, I've got a great idea. Why don't we take the DVD, go over to Bo and Stepnor's, have a private premiere over there? I would love to spend time with the in-laws, but I just feel that that is an opportunity for you to have quality family time with them. You are so rip-roaring hot, you're thoughtful. <laughs> you're rip-roaring hot any time. I've got things to do. Call me if you talk to her, okay? I'll be at mm -hmm. work. You can fit a phone in that hot dog suit? I will today. Call me. Well, well, well. I should have known you'd be related to the world's biggest wiener. Thanks for ruining my premiere. I didn't want anyone to see that movie. Oh, I bet you didn't. What were some of those line readings you gave? You are a horrible actor. <laughs> hey, you got any more gum? I like gum. You know what? Keep it. <gasps> hey, Dave. Hey, Paul. What's that? Well, since you couldn't come to the movie premiere, I decided the movie premiere would come to you. Boy, this is really a good time. Last night wasn't a good time either, if you saw the paper. We did. I decided after that fiasco, a private family premiere is really the only way to go, and I can promise you something. We've got so much better production value in our movie than they didn't hold the diploma for crying out loud. I also brought you a breakfast burrito. Thank you, but... Pa. It would really mean a lot to me if you were the first person to see my movie. Well, then I would be honored. Ma, get out here! No, no she's not here right now. Yeah, she's in court. Clint's arraignment. Oh, so he's finally on his feet, huh? Well, the hospital said he's well enough to go to court. Then he's well enough to do time breaking rocks in prison for a while. Look, I know he's your brother, Pa, but he locked me away for no good reason. Clint should go to jail. The defendant will rise. What do you want? Fair warning, Echo. Freedom comes with a price. The charges were dropped, Dorian. And you can't take it back unless you want to go to prison for attempted murder. Oh, drama queen, it was not all that. You left Clint on the floor to die. You really want to keep threatening me? No. Like I said, I just came over to give you fair warning. You see, I am still mayor of Landview, and I'm not going to rest until you are gone. Lovely. Bring it on. Okay, it's, it's not movie premiere ambiance, but hey, at least we got food. Yeah, well, I'm not hungry just yet. Oh, all right, well, uh, we can save it for intermission, I guess. <laughs> you at least want some gum? David. 
Where did you get this gun? From the kid that's the star of Hold the Diploma, Mace Salinger. 